swear to God, I have memorized every square inch of this room. And it still feels like a party. <laughs> Never ending party from hell. I mean, sure, all right, it smells like a goddamn barn and you're all bored shitless, but... Language! Sorry. Sorry, kiddo. But, I mean, we've got ourselves this hot little love quadrangle here to entertain us. It's like Christmas to me. Well, maybe they're just as miserable at Aaron's or Barbara's. Mm. Gabe, your girl's doc is also your girl's baby daddy, which kind of begs the question, you ever wonder what the hell is going on in there when she has her appointments? You could try to be a little less predictable. Ah, that hurts, Gabe, truly. You know, we're all grown-ups here, and none of us would ever let that ruin the long-standing friendships and mutual respect we have. You know what? You're right. That is a very mature attitude, father. Not the father. <laughs> <laughs> is that unpredictable enough for you? Dude, don't sit so close to the window. Hey, kiddo. You still worried about that mutt? Daryl told me to take care of him while he helped the king to move to Hilltop. I don't know where he is. Does anybody else smell something? Can you stop being such an asshole? No, he's right. Something does smell funky in here. Get away from there! As I suspected, chimney flu is completely gunkified. What sent your nostrils earlier was no doubt a toxic mixture of creosote and H2O. Blizzard's done some tearing and blaring. And our chimney's ventilation capabilities are nil to none. It'd be unwise to spark a, another blaze, lest we plan on ceasing all respiratory functions, AKA smoking and choking. God, I missed you, Eugene. I can't say the same. You know, without a fire, we'll never get these people warm enough. Yeah, we should leave before the temperature drops any lower. Okay, folks. Contingency plan. We're going to Aaron's house. It'll be tight quarters, but we'll make it work. Seriously? Not one of you assholes is gonna untie me? We could tell Michonne it was an accident. 